In today's video I'm going to be showcasing one of the best up to date scripts for the Roblox game King Legacy so before we get into today's video if you could drop a like, comment and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and let's get straight into the video. So first of all what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description from there you will get the script. You want to come into Roblox and execute and once you guys do that this is what it will look like. So here we've got our main tab, Ghost Ship, Sea King, Stats and some other tabs down there so we'll get into that in a second so here in the farm tab we've got some um, things to go over so our config so you want to select your weapon the type of farm you want to do and the distance you can go ahead and activate the um, I don't even know how to say that but hacky one and hacky two then you can reset if the quest is completed and you can go ahead and use all the different skill moves as well um, so here on the left we can basically auto farm at level for me it's not really working so you can go ahead and use the second farm so you can use auto farm at near and that will farm the nearest mobs to you now these ones are kind of glitched out and are behind the wall so um, just don't mind that when uh, you can auto farm in the new world then you can do a specific um, farm so you can select the quest or no quest so we'll do quest and once that is spawned in it will fight so let's go ahead and try something else okay so the no quest works um, for this one I'm not sure why the quest isn't working and if you want to open and close it by the way this little square here will do that for you so the no quest is working um, so I think the quest and the level farm is a bit um, outdated and needs updated but this is the best script to use uh, we also have a material farm here if you want to farm materials you can farm the big mom you can do the odin king as well so onto the ghost ship you can auto attack the ghost ship you can collect the chest and you can go ship hop you can also use skills if you want to do that sea king is basically the same thing you can attack it collect the chest and server hop use the skills it will tell you if it's spawned in by saying yes or no. No, it's not here for some reason, but it says yes here. Stats, you can set your point value. And you can set your stats into whatever you want to do. But I don't actually... Um, I'm not sure why. Okay, there we go. So, you got to select your point value and put it into that. Travel, you can rejoin server hop, teleport to a lower player server. You can teleport to the first on the new world as long along with island teleports as well. So let's go ahead and teleport. And it should teleport you to these places. Then we've got an NPC teleport. And you can refresh the NPCs if you can't see the one that you want. So that is the teleports. If we come to the shops, you can buy devil fruits, you can buy fighting styles. Um, and some other stuff like uh, this teleports you to the shop so uh, that is quite handy like so and then if you want to buy a devil fruit select one auto buy it you can buy a random one you can bring all of them to you if there's any in the game you can teleport to a random devil fruit shop and teleport to the main one which um, should be right here then we've got raids and ESP, so we can do a player. We can spectate the player, teleport to the player, auto kill the player. Then you can teleport to the raid entrance, but it says in dungeon only. Misc, you can delete uh, damage text, heavy effect, infinite gapo, fly, no clip. Then you can ESP players, devil fruits, legacy island, hydra, and ghost ship. So that is everything in today's video. If you guys did enjoy, then please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.